Hello, my fellow YouTubers. This is Roy again. Uh, right now, we are going to create a dipole by using uh, high voltage. We're going to use 15,000 volts, 60 milliamps. We're going to go into seven bottles of these beer bottles. So they are seven nanofarads, one nanofarad a piece. And we're going to go into this little spark gap, into the Tesla coil, into the primary, into, into the secondary, out of the secondary. And we have this light hanging here. I just got wire wrapped around it, but it's not grounded. So it's just a virtual ground. And you'll see um, what this experiment will show is I am taking the positive end here and I am sending the negative end, which is the bottom of that secondary, to the ground. So there is your dipole. And we are making pressure waves, longitudinal pressure waves, that are in the low AM band frequency. Okay, just for starters. And what we're experimenting with right now is the ether, how we're affecting the ether. And you're only affecting the ether of what you transpose out. Just remember that. So basically what I'm saying is your pole ranges from there to there, okay? So in between that pole, there's a vorticity going on, okay? This right here will also expand the dipole. So this is positive. This will become the negative. And we're expanding off that dipole. We're not really doing experiments between these two, which is coming up on the next four or five series of videos I'm going to bring into with electromagnetism but that we are creating a dipole. We're using the earth ground, and then we're using the top load as a positive and negative, and we are uh, pulsating them. We'll get into the affair of what actually is happening and the dipole itself and how, the eth how it's reacting. And then, however it's reacting, the counter reactor is the ether, and that's where I want to bring in my next series of videos will be electromagnetism and ether, which is the dipole. So now we're expanding the dipole. Here's the south. This is going to create a north. Now, if I take another bulb, which I'll do, and um, hold it up, you'll see it'll come to me. And because I'm grounded, more like virtual, and it's just hanging. So it's touching the building and everything, but that's not, not like earth ground. So the key thing here is I'm holding this phone. You won't be able to hear me because of the spark matic thing going here, but um, I'll be holding this tube of air. And you'll see when I'm not putting air in that you'll see just blue aura of a rays coming up. But when I put here, you'll see white um, like lightning coming up from the top load to there and you'll see that that is an expansion of a dipole and we're going to get into why that's important all right so let's go ahead and i guess we can fire in a hole here and i'll turn the lights out Glad we've seen that. That should not be touching. There we go. 
No touchy. Anything else? Somewhat close, but I think we can get away with it. All right, back on, on track here. Put the air. Plug in the power.
Ooh, ooh, that end zone.